The 2016 Chevrolet Equinox The Chevrolet Equinox made its debut as the company's new compact SUV in 2005, and underwent its first generational overhaul in 2010. Now that we're set to pass the halfway point of the 2010s, Chevrolet is set to unveil a refreshed version of the second-generation Equinox for the 2016 model year. This new Equinox debuted on February 12, 2015. There is a lot to take in from this refresh, despite it being more of an evolution of the existing model. What appears to be the goal with this update is an injection of youthfulness to a model that already does pretty well in terms of overall sales. Given it competes in one of the hottest segments in the automotive world, it is no surprise that Chevy was careful in what it changed while still making it noticeably new. Updated February 13, 2015, we've added a series of images taken during the 2016 Equinox official debut at the 2015 Chicago Auto Show. Check the new images in the Pictures tab. Click past the jump to read more about the 2016 Chevrolet Equinox. Updated History Updated 12 February 2015, Chevrolet unveiled the new 2016 Equinox at the 2015 Chicago Auto Show. Click past the jump to read the official details on it. Exterior Even with these updates for the 2016 model year, the Equinox remains a very familiar SUV. The changes made to the 2016 Equinox are not overwhelming, but they are certainly noticeable. The front end is where you'll see most of the changes, including new projector headlights, LED signature lighting and daytime running lights on LT and LTZ models, new fog lights on LTZ models, and an updated grille that is larger than the 2015 model. On the upscale LT and LTZ trims, the new grille also gets an exclusive chrome trim. From the side, pretty much everything remains unchanged, save for updated 17 and 18-inch wheels that are standard on the LT and LTZ trims, respectively. The updated 17-inch rollers are also optional on the LS trim. Around back, the updates are a little lighter, but still fairly obvious. These include new dual-element taillights, a new license plate applique, a new lower bumper insert that houses revised exhaust exits on V6 models, and a new chrome strip on the lower bumper insert on the LTZ trim. Even with these updates for the 2016 model year, the Equinox remains a very familiar SUV. Its roof line, hood, and general proportions are all carryover from 2015. This is all not likely to change until Chevy releases the next generation model, which will probably be a good while. Side-by-side -side comparison Interior Additionally, Chevy added one new color option, saddle up to the interior and upgraded fabric to the L and LS trims. While the updates on the outside are noticeable, the interior changes require closer inspection. The center stack has a slightly different look thanks to a new storage shelf for holding your gadgets and updated control graphics. The gear shifter also gains a little class with NW for 2015 chrome trimming, while the electronic range selector buttons are now on top of the gear shifter. Additionally, Chevy added one new color option, saddle up to the interior and upgraded fabric to the L and LS trims. On the technical side of things, the Equinox now has a standard 7-inch color touch radio that also includes a standard rearview camera on L and LS trims. Also added in is optional side blind zone alert and rear cross traffic alert on LT and LTZ trims. Size-wise, the interior remains the same as the 2015 model, including its respectable 31.4 cubic feet of cargo room behind the rear seats and 63.7 cubes with the seats folded down drivetrain. Both engines mate to a six-speed auto transmission that delivers power to the front wheels as standard and all four wheels as an option. In the engine compartment there are no changes. The 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder power plant remains the base offering. This engine produces 182 horsepower at 6,700 revolutions per minute and 172 pound-feet of torque at 4,900 revolutions per minute. The optional engine will remain the 3.6-liter V6 that cranks out 301 horses and 272 pound-feet. Both engines mate to a six-speed auto transmission that delivers power to the front wheels as standard and all four wheels as an option. 
Fuel economy numbers will be released later, but I expect the same at 22 MPG City, 32 MPG Highway, and 26 MPG combined with the 2.4 liter and front wheel drive, and 17 MPG City, 24 MPG Highway, and 20 MPG combined with the V6 and front wheel drive. Adding all-wheel drive drops the 4-cylinder to 20 MPG City, 29 MPG Highway, and 23 MPG combined, while the V6 with all-wheel drive falls to 16 MPG City, 23 MPG Highway, and 19 MPG combined. Drivetrain Specifications Prices in 2015, the Equinox bases at $24,520 and I don't expect a huge hike. Look for the 2016 model to tack maybe another $50 to $1,000 to the current price tag. Competition Honda CRV The Honda CRV is the champ in this segment, besting all by a fairly wide sales gap in 2014. Not only does it offer legendary Honda build quality, but it also starts at just $24,445 and was heavily revised for the 2015 model year. Under its hood, the 2015 CR-V comes packing a 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder that puts down 185 horses and 181 pound-feet of torque. Like the Equinox, you can have your CR-V with front or all-wheel drive. The CRV pretty handily trumps the Equinox 4 cylinders gas mileage, at 27 mpg city and 34 mpg highway, but it has no V6 option for those who want a little extra oomph. In terms of roominess, the CRV does give up a bit in rear legroom, at 38.3 inches, but its 35.2 cubes of cargo room with the seats up easy beats the Equinox's 31.5 cubic feet. Ford Escape the Ford Escape was the only compact SUV that challenged the CRV's sales title in 2014, but even it came up nearly 30,000 units short. The Focus was the second best in the class for a slew of reasons, and one of them has to be its sporty appearance. On top of those looks comes an engine lineup that gives buffet-like options to potential buyers. The base unit is the 2.5-liter four-cylinder that produces 168 horsepower and 170 pound-feet of torque, and manages 22 mpg city and 31 mpg highway. Above that is the 1.6-liter turbocharged engine that lays down 178 horses and 184 pound-feet of torque while getting 23 mpg city and 32 mpg highway. The range topping unit is the 2.0-liter EcoBoost 4-cylinder that puts down a mighty 240 horses and 270 pound-feet of twist. This engine may only manage to deliver 22 mpg city and 30 mpg highway, but its 7 second 0 to 60 time makes up for that. Another thing the Escape has going for it is the fact that it carries a base MSRP of just $22,690, and moving into the 1.6-liter turbocharged engine bumps the price to only $24,860, and if you really need V6-like power, you can jump into the 2.0-liter EcoBoost for just $26,355. Conclusion when you have as much success as the Equinox had in 2014 despite its old-looking body, you do your best not to change too much. I think Chevy did a nice job injecting some youth into the aging SUV without going so far that buyers don't recognize it. Now all GM needs to do is get with the program and offer it with the 2.0-liter turbocharged engine. Love it nice injection of youth without rendering it unrecognizable already sells well, and a refresh may help it catch up those headlights are so much nicer. Leave it still lackluster engine offerings lags in fuel economy. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.